This isn't your usual government-sponsored event. Black Power members watching a movie on how to profit from the drug trade. There's a movie uh, we're showing which uh, is how to make money selling drugs. Uh, and of course the moral is you don't. You end up in jail, you end up dead, or you end up soulless. Um, and uh, the consequence of that is, well, what do we do? The screening was part of a Hawke's Bay hui where gang members discussed positive parenting, ways to eliminate domestic violence and resolving alcohol and drug abuse. And I'm arguing that our groups and affiliations have got youth and energy and skills and intelligence and that we'll tackle uh, our unemployment uh, one van at a time, by the van load. So whether it's picking fruit in Mochueka or Hawke's Bay or the Bay of Plenty, whether it's building roads in Transmission Gully or in Auckland, whether it's building houses in Auckland, uh, we do it as a group. So we take gang uh, and we turn it back to building gang, forestry gang, fencing gang, picking gang. So we take that affiliative instinct and we turn it to a positive purpose. O'Reilly is a social activist and life member of Black Power. He said the government's recently announced plan to bolster anti-gang laws and boost policing suggests the war on drugs will become a war on all gangs. But the man who made the announcement, Police Minister Stuart Nash, says the extra resources will not hinder O'Reilly's efforts to steer gang whānau to safe harbour. When we talk about gangs, I like to talk about organised crime. Okay? Now, gangs are a subset of that. Uh, and there are some very, very bad people who are running some of our gangs. This is why I talk about cutting the head off the snake. We want to go after the people who are responsible, i.e. The, the leaders of organised crime, responsible for peddling methamphetamine into our communities. Um, you know, we haven't got a strategy to go after every single of the 5,625 gang members that are on, uh, that have been identified. But we do want the power to go after the men and women who head organised crime and who are peddling methamphetamine into our communities. O'Reilly says the government policy of helping gangs become socially productive contractors was discarded by the fourth Labour government in favour of an overseas theory. Uh, the North American model is based on ethnic gangs, people who may not actually have a, a, a belief in the society into which they've come. We need to differentiate between criminal gangs and the indigenous gangs. So the indigenous gangs belong here. They are the people, they manifest in this way. We saw the biggest shift uh, of a uh, rural population to an urban population in history in the 1960s and 70s and these are the second and third generation product of that. And so it's as Māori and Polynesian people start to reassert themselves, start to find themselves as whānau. Uh, if you take the black power for instance, I'm a pensioner, I'm 65 years of age, got a master's degree in social practice and a fair bit of experience in government. When we were running around the street at 18 and 19, uh, we never had people like me to go and see. So we've now got a uh, demographic that is very, very similar to Maori society as a whole. So what you're seeing is these older people who, who have been through life journeys in their own right and decided oh, that's a waste of time, uh, going to jail or whatever, and I don't want to see my kids go there. O'Reilly says being a gang member is not in itself a problem. The affiliation is irrelevant. It doesn't matter whether you're the you know, federated farmers or whatever. You affiliate with who you want to affiliate with you know, and manifest that. It's your behaviour that counts. And if your behaviour is destructive and antisocial, that's what we want to change. Patrick O'Sullivan, Local Focus.